Okay, so we are fulfilling our vacation dreams and we are testing out the Evolve Carbon GTs. Oh snap. With some crazy ass road. What do you think, Fox? Hopefully we don't get hurt. We're about ready to get down. <laughs> Guys, welcome, those my nose. Holy cow, guys, welcome to another episode of I Might Be Chad, an Idiot's Guide to Los Angeles. We've made it to episode 39, my uncomprehensive review of the Evolve Carbon GT electric skateboard. I've been wanting to do this review for ages. I've had the skateboard for over two months now, and this thing is amazing! Have I told you how amazing this board is? Am I excited about this board? Yes. Do I know anything about electric skateboards? No. So like 8 million other subscribers, when I started my YouTube channel about 8-9 months ago, I came across this vlog uh, where this guy would ride around his electric skateboard all over New York while he was vlogging. While I was... <gasps> Saturday morning tradition on the skateboard. It's, it's, it's so good. You've probably never heard of him. It's Casey that night niece nice. My name is Casey Neistat. And what's amazing what's happened in the last year as far as electric skateboard technology goes, he single-handedly is the reason for the explosion of the electric skateboard market. So then one day Eric and I were down in Venice and we found a bike shop that had two Genesis electric skateboards. Now Genesis skateboards those are great starter boards. I'm not gonna knock them because again, they're only like three or four hundred bucks, but those boards actually rode extremely well and we had a blast that day. So now I was sitting there going, well, I could just get a Genesis board, but it just wasn't as cool as the boosted board. The fun lasted for maybe 40 minutes max. So I, again, I was looking for something that had a little bit more range. Then one night as I was on YouTube, I saw this commercial. This witchery. This board looked amazing. And the specs on it, ridiculous. The boosted board, it's like a dope Camaro. The Evolve Carbon GT, this is a Formula One. This is the Bugatti of electric skateboards. I need this in my life. However, price tag for the two-in-one Evolve GT carbon fiber that also included the all-terrain wheels was $21.99. Then fate happened. I was on Craigslist. I found someone selling two. Utah, give me two. Of these carbon fiber electric skateboards. Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. I'm not gonna tell you what I paid for it. It did max out my credit card for sure. So without further ado, let's go into the specs. The Evolve Carbon Fiber GT Electric Skateboard has a range of up to 31 miles on the street wheels, 
18 to 19 miles with the AT wheels. I found the Eco Mode gets you the best mileage and is the perfect balance between power and speed. It will go up to 26 miles per hour, which is completely unnecessary. 25% gradient is what this board is able to achieve in GT mode. It takes hills like a boss. The deck material is a high grade custom molded carbon fiber and Kevlar. The trucks are a black GT supercar. The wheels on the standard GT street board are a black Evolve GT 83 millimeter. For the all-terrain GT boards, they come with the Evolve 7 inch all-terrain wheels. The motors consist of a 3000 watt high performance custom made sensor dual brushless runner motors, which just means it's fast as shit. Recharge time is four to five hours with the standard charger. Braking is an ABS smooth regenerative braking. The remote is an amazing digital LCD screen with speed indicator, trip functions, four speed settings, slow, Eco, fast, and then there's GT mode, which is basically death mode. Max load on these skateboards is 220 pounds. Battery is a 36 volt lithium ion battery with custom DMS. The GT series street conversion kit includes four black Evolve GT street wheels, two drive belts, two 32T drive gears, two belt covers, one skateboard tool, and two Allen wrenches. One complete set of bearings, bearing spacers, lock nuts, and speed rings. All in all, I'm gonna tell you this. This is the premium electric skateboard you can buy right now. For $500 more, it's destroying the boosted board specs. Now again, this is not everyday city commute kind of board. It's kind of big, it's bulky, but if you're planning on going out for a full day of skateboarding, this is the board to go, because again, the 31 mile range, you can ride all day. No one is riding 30 miles on an electric skateboard. Your feet just get way too tired. But yeah, for 500 bucks more, you're almost tripling the mileage of the boosted board. Every single person that I've let ride this thing has the biggest grin on their face. be completely honest with you this board is worth every single penny if you're gonna invest in a board spend that extra money and get this one it's this thing is awesome I'm gonna close off by showing you some of the amazing footage we've been able to shoot on these boards again we just went out to Joshua Tree for three days oh my god man those highways out there in the desert the sunset just Ah, there's a reason this board is expensive, and that's because of the quality of this thing. It is a blast. And if you can, buy two. Again, guys, thanks for watching, and check out some of this amazing footage that we've shot with this board so far. I'll see you in the next one.
Oh my god, Foxy. He's a madman. 